What's up, Full Ride Nation? Back for another one. All y'all that don't know me, Christopher Foreman, D1 Walk On, Turn Starter here to help you guys with your basketball hopes and dreams. Uh, just left the SMU versus Colorado Buffs women's basketball game. So, very, very good game. So, I'm going to give my recap on my thoughts of the game and, and some of the things that I think we could take away from it to help you all. So, First and foremost, I'll start off with saying the crowd. I must say it reminded me of more like uh, a high school setting, which is a good thing because the crowd was into it. It was intense. They were loud. Um, it was a pretty decent turnout. Very, very um, nice turnout. Um, one of the biggest turnouts that I've seen uh, for the girls since I've been going. But I'm only, I can only compare it to going to the UNT games. But the crowd was very into it. I really enjoyed that part of it. Now, when it comes down to the an an analysis of the game, I will say that Colorado definitely, they're going to go to the NCAA tournament. And I think they're going to have a pretty good run in the tournament because what they do have is they have a very solid big man. Well, okay, it's not a big man. A big woman? Well, that doesn't sound right either. Um, the, the the big. The big. So, they have a solid big. Number 21 was very, very good uh, as far as dominating the paint. She played with her back to the basket. She rebounded. She was very fundamental. She, you couldn't really rattle her. Her game was very, very fundamentally sound, and she did her thing down in the paint. Um, SMU... They played hard because both teams played hard, I will say. Both teams played very, very hard. I, I was very impressed with the intensity of both teams. But the problem that, that I saw with SMU is they don't have a big a, a big in the paint, and they are not as disciplined. Colorado was very, very disciplined. It was a few times that SMU got within one and could have taken a lead, but Colorado's poise kicked in, and they would always kick the lead back up. SMU would get rattled. They would get a little bit more emotional, and it would always end up falling behind by 10 or 12 or 15. Colorado just kind of stayed the course. But the, the, the major difference, but SMU, they had number one, and that, that young lady, was putting a crossover on people that I I will say I've never seen a female cross people over like this. It was it was it was actually fun to watch. I mean, she has a, a real nice pull up and a real nice um mid range hesitation pull, which made her basically unstoppable out there. She scored thirty points and it it was it was it was actually fun to watch. So all in all it was a good game. Both teams played good but SMU they're lacking in the paint and that's gonna be a problem for them this season. Now, someone asked me, who do I think is the better team out of SMU and UNT when they play? What's my prediction on who's going to win? Well, I don't know. It's going to be a good one. I will say SMU seems to play with a little bit more intensity than UNT, but sometimes players play different for different teams, so we'll have to see, but they're going to have to battle in that paint. So, that's what SMU is lacking, and I think that's what they're going to need to improve. But all in all, Full Ride Nation, it was a good game. So that's my recap on tonight's game. Colorado did pull out the victory. Take a look at the videos. And I don't know why those songs came up on my videos. I didn't put those songs on there. I'll figure that out. But Full Ride Nation, y'all know the drill. I'll see y'all on the next one. Let's compete.